question you already know the question for you. Um, how did it feel going, you know, getting back to your old form and getting the shots like you did? Uh, it felt, it felt good. You know, I, I've been putting a lot of time in the gym, so I, I expected that. Just playing with confidence and stuff like that. And just. My teammates found me tonight and did a great job uh, looking for me, so uh, I, appreciate I appreciate that. This is for either or both of you. What did you guys know about James Wiseman's situation tonight? Um, and how did, you know, were you surprised when he was in the starting lineup and showed up late? No, we, we can't ask you that question. So you got a big game next week, obviously, at, at Oregon. How well do you think you're playing as a unit through two games? And talk about the challenge that will face you next week. Both of you, let me start with Boogie. Uh, I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good. We, we just got to really buy into uh, to, to our defense concepts and stuff, uh, not allowing offensive rebounds. That's, that's what it's going to come down to. And just doing the little things and just playing together and, and knowing that it's, it could be anybody's night and uh, sack uh, it's all about sacrifice with us, so I feel like if we sacrifice, we're all going to be good together and we lock up on D, and we'll, we'll be okay, we'll be we'll be fine, we'll be, uh, we'll be a great team. Yeah, going back to what you said, we all just got to sacrifice, you know, let our um, egos get in the way, because, you know, we never know who night it is, so whoever the guy night is, we got to make sure to keep giving the ball and just make sure our egos don't interrupt what we're trying to do Tuesday. Uh, this is a good, I thought, even though the game was pretty much a blowout, what, uh, Coach did uh, work on um, basically he just um he gave up sixteen offense rebounds, you know, he been really hard on us about offense rebounds. So in this game he said just losing basketball, you know, we just gotta gotta do better but not getting him six six sixteen offense rebounds. Yeah, just just not giving up rebounds, boxing out, just little stuff and executing our game plans and, and, and finding finding the hot guys and making sure they're not getting the ball and stuff like that. So just just executing, doing a little little stuff and learning game by game. Boogie, did you guys feel uh, attention going into tonight's game or could you tell in the crowd there was maybe a different energy? Uh, not really. I, I was really locked in on the game, so I wasn't really paying attention to the crowd. I was locked in, so. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Another solid game in the row coming off the bench. How's your mentality coming off the bench? Even though you could probably start anywhere you wanted to, but you quietly put up 14 points with no. So talk about your play and your mentality coming off the bench. I mean, uh, coming in, coach, he told me what he wanted me to do. So, you know, I just went out there and did what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to play um, with energy and come out and score. So, off the bench, I just come and do that every night, you know, because we got five good starters, you know. And me coming off the bench, it doesn't matter to me as long as I, um, as long as I go out there and do what I got to do. So it's cool with me. This could be for either one of you guys. Whatever reason it may be, injury, whatever, if you don't have James moving forward, based on what you've seen the last two games, how different is this team going to be? How detrimental is having James for your aspirations this season? I would just say it's going to be it's going to be a big loss. Okay. But I feel like we, we, got, we got guys that will step up and, and, and play hard. We just got to, without, without him, yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, question for either one of y'all. With so much skill on this team, uh, just kind of tell me what how big is communication and maybe one or two of the key players that kind of keep y'all together. Uh, communication is a big, a, a, a big deal uh, with, with the team, especially because we're a very young team. Communication just helps us. It helps me play better. I feel like when I'm not talking, I, I, I don't play very well. So I feel like communication is great for us, and just just having everybody, having great leaders, everybody is good when we're communicating. And just for you, but you going back to the West Coast, man. Are you going out there with a little chip on your shoulder, to something to prove, and to just show them how good you are in the West Coast? Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going back. I always got a chip on my shoulder, but I, I, I'm, I'm going. I'm going over there, uh, ready to play. I'm excited to play on the West Coast and, and get a chance to play against a, a, a great Oregon team. DJ, just to talk about Oregon and the challenges they bring. 
Um, going in Oregon, they are um, a top 10 team or a top 15 team. Um, you know, and we a top 15 team. It's going to be a good battle. And I'm just ready. I'm really excited to go out there and play against them and see, see where we at.